What's up, everyone? This is your boy Jermaine. Back with another video. Back with another walking tour video. As of today, we are in the West Portal neighborhood. So it's this West Portal neighborhood, this little shopping district here. I'm gonna walk around and show you guys the shopping district. But what we're gonna really do is walk through St. Francis Wood. So St. Francis Wood is, um, it's, a, it's a very, very nice, nice neighborhood in San Francisco. I don't know anyone who lives in, who lives in uh, St. Francis Wood. I don't think I have known anyone that have lived there. It's, uh, it's a pretty fancy place. It's not the fanciest place in the city, or at least I don't think it's one of it's the fanciest place in the city, but it sure is a pretty nice neighborhood, y'all. You know? Lots of really, really nice houses. Yeah, we'll get there eventually. But for now, this is the West, West Portal neighborhood. And just to fill you guys in, this is more of a local neighborhood here. Now to get here, you can take the Muni train. You can get off here at West Portal. And the, the stop before West Portal is um, Forest Hill. And then the stop before that is Castro. And for the most part, Castro is, uh, it's pretty much the last stop after that. It's kind of more like neighborhoods and stuff like that. It's more, a lot more local. You have tons of like local shops here Lo local businesses tons of real estate let's check out some of these places all right st francis wood sold two million two bedroom these are all like detached houses here oh this one is that one is too let's continue scroll on and today is uh it's actually a really nice day. It's a really nice day outside because it's been raining for the past couple of days. There's even a good wheel here. The super cuts. Is it still open? And then of course you always want to bank around. <laughs> wow, there's a Starbucks across the street. I didn't never knew that Starbucks. I've come to West Portal neighborhood, but for the most part I never really I never really come up here. It's not really I mean it's not like I would come here for like a favorite restaurant or something. Or I would come here for a bar or something like that. This is one of those places where, you know, it's kind of like a local, it's a very, very local neighborhood. I wonder what this place was. This looks like it was maybe a, a place that had shows, like bands or something. It's completely closed. Dental implants. Get you some implants around here. I wish I could be a, a bit more entertaining about this neighborhood, but like I said, I just don't know many things about it. It's very, very local, you know. Look at Charles Schwab. <laughs> and here you just, uh, I just see a lot of, like a, a, lot of, a lot of banks on this block. This must be the bank block. It's like Wells Fargo, there's this bank here, this Sterling Bank. The other block had like no, really no corporations and I guess the corporations have slowly creeped up in here. I guess the banks. Kind of hard to make a local bank, you know? It's easy to make a local coffee shop. It's easy to make a local, uh, you know, 
thrift store. Lots of businesses are really, really easy to make, but a, a, a bank? Good luck on that one. <laughs> It's actually really, really, really busy around here. I'm surprised. Like I said, I don't usually come to this this part of town, but other places I walk around in the city, I don't even see people walking on the streets. I see like two or three people on the blocks. But here it's like, let's walk in this, let's walk in the street. And then also if I walk in the street, I can kind of like glimpse over and show you guys this side and then glimpse over and show you guys that side. Because there's all these cars uh, on the street here. <laughs> this is weird. It's one of those city parking lots where, like, instead of a business being there, it's a parking lot. It's the dumbest idea, yo. Know? It should be like a house there or something, you know? It shouldn't just be a parking lot. But I get it. A lot of people say that there's not, probably not enough parking around here. And once again, this is definitely a different neighborhood. Uh, so right now, as I'm walking through, you may think that this is kind of like city-like, like other parts of the city, but as soon as I get off this street, you're gonna see what I'm talking about. It's not the same. a left at this next street yo kids if you ever come to san francisco i don't recommend you walk in the street like like what i'm doing <laughs> walk in the sidewalk and once again we got some more banks we got bank of america and this first republic For the most part, the St. Francis Wood, I've never really, never really walked through this neighborhood. This is, a, I think, a neighborhood I've maybe cycled through maybe once or twice. But it's kind of one of those places where, like I said, if you don't know anyone that, that lives there, like, why would you go? You know, like, what would be your reason? My reason now is I'm just going to make a little quick video, you know? And things really change up once you get to just right across uh, this street here. So this is Portola. Now this is also the same street that is Market. So if you go this way, it'll eventually take you to Embarcadero. And then also, if you go this way, we'll hit the Stonestown Mall. There's like the zoo. And then Glen Park Bart is that way. I don't know where that is. I'm trying to think Glen Park Bart that way. 2.5 miles. I don't know. I thought Glen Park was... I'm a little confused about Glen Park right now. And right across the street here, we have St. Francis Wood. This is what this neighborhood looks like. Now, I'm just gonna keep it real. I don't really see no trash in this neighborhood. And I'll tell you something else about this neighborhood. I haven't really heard about a homeless problem in this neighborhood. I definitely haven't heard about any homeless problems in this neighborhood. But I don't know, maybe they have it. Maybe they still have the same problems too. But this is a really, really cool place. Huh. Just trying to think of a story to tell to make this uh, walk somewhat entertaining. Um, I'm just kind of a little wild because, like, I do live in the city, but 
I don't just come to places like this, right? Now, other neighborhoods like Peck Heights, it's really nice, but sorry to say, but Peck Heights doesn't look like this. This feels like I'm not in San Francisco anymore. I mean, this sidewalk, look, this sidewalk looks really nice, though. And then all the houses in this neighborhood are detached, right? There's two hour parking, which I'm pretty sure they probably don't check as much like they check in other neighborhoods, you know? But as you can see, it's really quiet. You don't see anyone walking here. This is a neighborhood that if you see someone walking, there's a couple of reasons why they're walking. They're, easy, they're usually jogging or walking a dog. Or maybe you're like, a, I don't know, what, what, other, what, other, what other reason would you be walking? You, you, you work at one of these houses or something and you, you're taking the train. That's why you're walking. <laughs> But for the most part, like, what reason would, you know, it's kind of like one of those questions, like, what reason would you have to come over here, you know? I'm just going to see the park, right? <laughs> I guess you could say that. But it's, uh, it's a really, really nice place, you know? You know, one thing about living in the city, um, right when I first moved to the city, I, um, well, no, this is more in New York. When I was in New York, I was staying in New York for a couple of summers. And the first summer I went to New York, the friend I was staying with, I asked her, I was like, yo, do you ever go to Chinatown? And she was just like, I work right near Chinatown, but I never go to Chinatown, right? And I just couldn't, like, as someone who hadn't spent that much time in New York, I just couldn't figure it out. Like, how come you don't go to Chinatown, you know? But then after I've been living in the city for some time, I totally get it. Like, you just get used to going to the places that you go to. We're gonna go left, but we're just gonna go around this big circle. Because there's some beautiful houses. You just get used to going to the neighborhoods that you go to, and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. Like. Wow, I love this, this walkway, like this, this could be a roundabout, they, but I guess they don't have to, it's like a quiet, fancy neighborhood, and also to make this a roundabout, they may have to make some altercations here, but this looks beautiful the way it is, let's go up to this, I wonder do people actually go up to this fountain? I feel like no one goes up to this fountain. It's just here for display. But I'll go up to it and stick it in the video. It's a beautiful fountain in the middle of the street. I think I'm fascinated by this because like, I don't live in a rich neighborhood like this. I mean, if you know where I live in the city, I live in the, in the gutter, yo. So <laughs> to see something like this, I think it's pretty amazing. If you live here, you're probably used to it. You're probably like, oh yeah, that's just a fountain in the street. Every once in a while, a car runs and hit it car runs over and hits it i think it's awesome holy cow this is freaking amazing yo it looks so different here wow look at that house it's huge oh my gosh guys today was like a rough day like I, it hasn't been that great of a day for me today and i don't know ever since i Got off the train at West Portal and started filming here. Things have all changed. Look at all the different, all the different plants. Holy cow, I'm just looking at so many different plants right here. Oh, watch out for the cyclists. They're not riding electric around here. I think if we go straight ahead, we'll get to a park. <laughs> Let's go to a, why not? Let's check out a park in this neighborhood. <laughs> that's, that's probably gotta be just as dope as, as the fountain in the middle of the street. Hey, let's guess, maybe the, the, the park's in the middle of the street. <laughs> Look at this beautiful tree, yo. Oh, 
Oh, it's like a little median in the park. I think this is what I saw on the map here. Oh no, the park is straight ahead. I've never been to this park before. So that's gonna be pretty cool to see. It's not a very large park. It's very, very small. If you guys notice, there's like no, no cars parked. Plenty of parking. It's not very densely populated here, by the way. <laughs> this is the place I want to live in the city. It's so quiet, dude. It's hilly, but it's not hilly like Twin Peaks. seen very few people here I've seen no one wearing a mask but also once again this is not a like a very densely populated place look at this freaking park yo I've never seen this before this is all new to me oh, wow see I'm telling you something when you're in rich neighborhoods you see benches like this you play, see places that people can actually stop and sit down and take a break. And when you're in these other neighborhoods in the city, get that bench over there. When you're in the, the just the other neighborhoods in the city, you don't even see benches because they don't want people to sleep on them. Because think about it, that'd be a really nice bench to sleep on. I mean, probably in the, at night, you wouldn't have anyone walking by you in this neighborhood. But something else that's a little bit more alarming is coyotes. Yeah, this is one of them parks is one of them places where they have coyotes, yo. This neighborhood, because once again, it's not that densely populated. Not that many cars driving by. It's easy for wild animals to thrive around here. You know, if you live in the city and you really want to escape you know, downtown and stuff. There's a lot of places in the city to go. You don't have to come to like, you know, the fanciest part of the city. There's a lot of places you can go to get rid of, to get away from the downtown action, you know? I mean, there's so many parks in the city. I'm gonna try to explore more parks around the city. You know, it just takes time to get around the city and I want to stream and I want to do other things and then we also have the rain in the forecast that 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 makes it tricky because if it's not raining I can go out and film but if it's raining I'm not gonna you know go out and film like I would on the day where it's not raining you know and we've had quite a bit of rain in the forecast Then I've been out of town for a couple days you know what we'll do is we'll just walk down this street go back the other way this is so beautiful It's like a park straight down. It's really, really nice. It looks like they added, I don't know if this is the police here, but it looks like there's a, a camera, a temporary camera here. I don't know if they just, you know, added it to this neighborhood because it's, you know, a fancy rich neighborhood. Maybe they added it recently. It looks like it's new. And then something else to point out, I'm going to tell you. Now, these videos are full of gems if, if you actually pay attention and you figure out what I'm trying to say. But I, I can just say this in plain English. If you go downtown, 
they'll have these device, these things, but when you see them downtown, they don't have the wheels on them. And in this neighborhood, it still has the wheels on it. But if it's downtown, the reason why they don't have the wheels on them, because people will steal the wheels. <laughs> so when they leave their, you know, their construction equipment like that downtown, they actually um, take the, the people that leave it down there, they take the wheels off. So people won't steal the wheels or just steal the whole device, you know, because sometimes people can, will just steal the whole thing because they can just hook it up to a truck and just drive away with it, you know? But when you're in these nice neighborhoods, they don't even bother. They're just like, oh, just leave the wheels on it. I guess it is a camera too. Who wants to steal a camera? But all those solar panels, you know, I don't think that would fly downtown. <laughs> You know, leaving all them solar panels like that downtown, that may not be a good idea. Beautiful places, guys. That's the top of that park there. Okay, this right here doesn't even look like San Francisco, y'all. Once again, this is also not a foggy day. This almost looks like, this looks like so many places. This, this could be Spain, this could be Santa Barbara, this could be parts of LA, this could be parts of San Diego. There's it, it, so many places. This, this angle right here, I love this angle. This could be Montecito, California. I mean, there's so many places. This could be Summerlin. Gosh, so beautiful right there. I love this this view right here. I love it so much. It's so epic. Let's street it. Walk, walk in the street. So quiet, you know. Gosh, it's so quiet, like I, I almost don't want to talk. <laughs> I don't want to disturb the peace. Now, when y'all watching the videos of San Francisco, and y'all always see the, the messed up videos, right? The, the videos that are always talking about bad stuff. <laughs> this is just a reminder that there are amazing places in the city. There are. They're not, I didn't say they were cheap, though. This, this neighborhood's gonna be very expensive, you know? I mean, just check out Zillow. Oh my gosh, this reminds me of so many places in California. It's so epic. Holy moly, yo. I don't think people in this neighborhood give a give a crap about car break hands. Yo, look at it. <laughs> this is the good part of town. <laughs> I mean, come on, let's keep it real. I'm definitely not making this up. I mean, I don't see no tents around here. Definitely does not smell like pee. You know, when you're in downtown, I'm talking about, I'm not talking about 6th Street. I'm talking about financial district, yo. Ooh. It can be pretty rough around there on some of them streets. Look at that little house. <laughs> and once again, another awesome part about living in a neighborhood like this is you live in freaking San Francisco, right? You live in a place where it's, you know, you got all the bars, you got all the restaurants, you got, you got all the action, right? But then you can live in a house like this and just drive down to all that shit, you know? And not have to worry about all that, you know? You could just, you know, get, get picked up in your Uber, go downtown, come back here. Living here, it almost feels like you live outside of the city, but you're like right in the middle of the city. 
it's pretty pretty insane yo this is pretty insane i should try to move to a neighborhood like this but then also living in a neighborhood like this you know <laughs> it would be uh <laughs> it would just be kind of it would be kind of boring it would be kind of like living in a lot of other places around california you know it'd be like living in santa barbara it'd be like living in Summerlin. it'd be like living in marin you know you live in a quiet place and you live in a very clean place but it's also not a lot of action going on and that can be just amazing for a lot of people majority of the population you know And when I say move to a, a neighborhood like this, I'm not talking about moving to a rich neighborhood like this. I'm talking about moving to a chill neighborhood like this because this neighborhood is super, super chill versus like downtown, you know. And when I'm talking about downtown, I'm talking about things like the sounds, you know, buses and cars and honking horns and sirens. You know, I haven't heard any horns honking, any sirens any fire trucks like this whole video there hasn't been any city sounds really but if i was filming this downtown i mean it would just be full of city sounds you know you would hear a, a random scream you'd hear a random car take off at a red light burn rubber like you would just hear all the city sounds but not over here maybe i'd shut up you guys can listen how quiet it is Santa Clara, Santa Monica. Huh. This ain't no LA, yo. <laughs> All right, look at this interesting street. Like normally, I would just walk straight across, right? But they have you going this way, like all fancy. Like, oh, I'm gonna go right, 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 huh, right, right. Yes, cross Santa Monica. Yes, yes, yes. And that's how it's done. <laughs> now, that's like one of the last nice houses that are tucked away because right when you get on this street, Petrello, you're not so like, you're not so tucked away. You're on like a main busy street and, you know, there's like buses and stuff. And, you know, every now and then you might hear a siren this street right here is not exactly fancy it's just kind of a busy street you know I, don't know I guess it'd still be a cool place to live if you want to live close by here and that was the only option but for the most part it's kind of um it's kind of busy you know it's kind of noisy We will just cross the street and make another right and we'll be back in the, the mix of all the banks. It's almost like a little mini financial district over there with all the banks. trees I didn't notice too many palm trees in that neighborhood over there I just got back from LA a couple days ago and I just just can't stop thinking about all the palm trees there's just so many palm trees there and in SF there's definitely palm trees just not on the same level as it is in LA you know down downtown near Embarcadero you'll definitely see some but in LA, it's like a sea of palm trees. <laughs> it's like you go places and you're like, is it is it like a part of the building code that you have to have palm trees because every place has palm trees? 
you know, I think palm trees are awesome. I'm definitely not hating on palm trees. But I think palm trees are pretty interesting because palm trees are not a native tree of California. Every palm tree in California was planted. Like, they don't just grow here. So that's the part where I think it's just amazing, like, they planted so many palm trees. Look at them shoes. If I'm not mistaken, I, I don't, I haven't done research on this, but I would imagine palm trees use a lot of water because palm trees usually grow in like tropical places and tropical places usually get a lot of rainfall. So I imagine that they need, they need quite a bit of, um, they need quite a bit of rainfall to be, you know, to, 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 to be successful. So. I think that means that you have to constantly water them because it doesn't rain all the time in California, you know? So, I don't know. That's just something I was just randomly thinking about. But here we go, guys. We are back to... We are back to the train station. I'm about to hop on this train and go back downtown. So, I'll see you guys later. There's a train behind me that's going downtown. So I'm going to cut the camera off and run and try to make it. So I'll see you guys later. Thanks a lot for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. And peace out, yo. Easy freezy. Good little, good little liquor spot right out there. I mean, alcohol in there. Wow. They hiring too. You need a job. They'll probably give you about 25 an hour. Anyway, I'm out. Peace out, y'all.